In 2 Corinthians 5, 21, God made him who have who did not know sin to be sin for us, so that in him we would become the righteousness of God. I looked it up the word righteousness. And to my surprise, it means right. That's it. <laughs> right. But in the God's perspective, righteousness means a right relationship with God. Jesus is our righteousness. Apart from Him, we know that we can do nothing. What makes it worse, living in a fallen generation, surrounded by all kinds of temptation, all the things that we can easily commit sin is all around us. So easy to commit sin. You know, and this is the way we need, this is why. I mean, this is why we need to be in the right relationship with God. Because of all of the things that's surrounded, surrounding us. In Romans 3, 10 to 12, uh, I know I didn't give you that verse, but it says, it's written, it is, as it, as it written, there is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands, no one who seeks God. All have turned away, they have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. That's, now, let me ask you something, including myself. Does anyone can honestly say that you have no sin? You have not committed anything wrong in the last two days. Can you please raise your hands? See, I'm not raising my hands too. See, the Bible says that not one, not even one is righteous without Christ. But with Christ, He becomes the righteousness. That now we have an access, full access to the Father and say, there is need that I, then you need to put priority in my life. I, ha I have something that you need to look at. We have the full access when we have Christ in our lives. So if we are in a right relationship with, with Him, He said in 2 Timothy 2, 4, He said that we are not to have relationship with the world. Well, having relationship with the world is like engaging in pursuit of the American dream. You know what's on the American dream? The good life. A boat and a yacht, a big house, money in the bank, RSPs, all the kind of investment. Very, uh, very, you know, rich life. That's the American dream. Pursuit of uh, pleasure, pride of life, position and power prestige and materialism. This is all what the world offers. Sad to say, these are temporary. Mm -hmm. These are just here and gone tomorrow kind of thing. But this is, God is saying that do not pursue those things. Do not be a friend of the world because these are false hope that is offering to you and I. And oftentimes we are, we take the bite. You know, sin is what separates us from God. It is the very same thing that broke our relationship with Him. Do you remember what happened in the Garden of Eve? God, when He created everything, the universe, you know what? You know what God has in mind? You and I. Us. You know, when He created the, the uh, the Garden of Eden was the most beautiful thing that he ever created. And he put who? His favorite to that beautiful place. But because of sin, our relationship with God was broken. Because of that sin. And that's what separates us from him. So the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is making it clear. You know that. On our own, we can't do this. So Jesus said, remember when he said, I will never leave you. We always quote this, this verse, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. You know, before he left, he uh, left us.
with the Holy Spirit. And he said, the Holy Spirit is the one who will convict us when we are trapped between right and wrong. It is the same Holy Spirit that give, that, that give way when we are trapped between two decisions. He reveals the truth and gives us wisdom to do what is right. So, Jesus is our righteousness. We can't do it with our own strength. And unless we have Him, unless we know Him, this close, personally, 